Radio Live. Uh, Bernard Hickey in Wellington. Bernard, good morning. Morning. Is it a razor day for Warwick? It is a razor day for uh, Warwick if uh, he has money in the bank, but it sounds like he doesn't. So this <laughs> this is a great day for Warwick <laughs> because uh, that means the cost of his mortgage or any debt he's got is going to drop slightly. It'll go a percent down. Is that right? I reckon the 100 basis points are full percent, but the market's saying 50 to 75 basis points down. That will cut the official cash rate to about uh, 2.75 or so, and that will mean that variable rate mortgages will probably drop closer to 5%. They're currently around about 6.5, just under 6 if you're with Kiwi Bank. And for fixed rate mortgages, they're likely to fall, but probably not that much because the banks have some other funding costs which are hurting them. So for Warwick, um, if he's got a variable rate mortgage, um, time to crack open the champagne. Okay. Um, I want to talk about Dancing with the Stars. Okay. The American version. Yes, yes. Now, this is uh, a great story uh, for for those geeks out there and for anyone who has a computer, really. Uh, Way back in in the 1980s, Steve Jobs and a guy called um, Steve Wozniak invented the Apple Macintosh and uh, the Apple computer, which um, really changed the world. And this was done done, um, uh, by this sort of cuddly old old guy. He seemed old at the time, but he still looks old, Steve Wozniak. Well, now he's on dancing. Who was the smart one, Wozniak or Jobs? They were both very smart, but Jobs was the ruthless one. Okay. (laughs) Jobs was the psychopath. (laughs) The megalomaniac. Yeah. And and so he pushed Wozniak out. But So Wozniak has has been a a favourite of the the geek community for a long time, and he he really is not an attractive man. And he's jumped on to Dancing with the Stars. (laughs) (laughs) He's been He's a beady weedy, is he? Is he is. He? Yeah, he okay. Is. Yep. He's, he's cuddly. Yep. And he's not sexy. Yeah. And he's gone on to Dancing with the Stars, and he has used the internet to try and scare up some votes for him, sort of Tim Shadbolt style, but he's done it with Facebook and Twitter. So he's hoping to survive with the weight of support from the geek community. Trouble is, he's just really hopeless as a dancer, and he was um, judged last the other night. So. so. But he hasn't been voted off because he's got all these geeks will be voting for yes, him. Yes, that's right. That's right. So um, uh, it's a bit sad, really. Um, he, hopefully this guy's still still very rich because, in a way, he was pushed out by, by Jobs and he's the sort of unspoken hero behind the, the Apple, uh, uh, the amazing Apple story. You can probably get sent his Twitters, can you? Yes, yes. Are no, you on, is Twitter, do, do I even have to bother learning about that or is this a, just a, is this a passing phase or is this something that's going to last? Could be a fad, but I'm enjoying it at the moment. Are you Twittering out yourself? Oh, yes, I Twitter regularly. Uh, mainly to um, madly self-promote, um, which which I'm pretty good at. Uh, that's to. Um, so you send you send texts from your cell phone to a whole lot of other people all at once. That's right. Who follow me? And often th- those uh, those texts or those quick short messages include a link back to my website. H- how many would you send a day? Or around fifteen or twenty. And it um, it's a, it's a great way mysterious. to send a message quickly to everyone. What would, what would one be like? So I'd say, for example, yesterday I interviewed Bill English, the finance minister, and after the interview I sent out a short message saying, Bill English says that GDP is likely to fall $50 billion, and that is a depression-sized fall. So people are getting miserable messages from you all day and all night. <laughs> 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 uh, poor Warwick will be off with your eraser blades again. Oh, God, there's no way away from it anymore, is there? <laughs> Actually, no, they're all, they're all miserable messages. Sometimes I tell people, um, you know, what I've just watched in the movies or whatever, but um, I, I find it really useful to keep in touch with the, the people I'm watching who are and, and making it, the news. And obviously from Bill English, it was pre- he said we're going to lose $50 billion in our GDP. Is that right? That's right. Um, this is quite a sobering assessment. Uh, here we uh, go. Assessment. Back to real Bernard. Yes, yeah. here we go. Yeah. Uh, he, he says that if you look at the numbers over the next three or four years, then the forecast for nominal GDP, so the total output of the country, could be $50 billion lower than previous forecasts. And that will be um, will be uh, a real problem for the government because obviously with nominal GDP down, that means the tax revenues are down. Essentially he's saying it's going to be a tough budget and we're going to have to do some tough things to make sure we keep the credit rating. And he, say, he said that 
everything is on the table, and that includes the tax cuts and the contribution to the super fund. OK, I've got to leave it there. You go to your lock-up. We'll find it after 9 o'clock. Bernard can't tell us what the OCR is going to be early. He said he'd lose his job. Took it very seriously when I asked him that. Anyway, it's 7 o'clock. Here is Hillary with The World at 7. Thanks, Bernard.